Hey everyone, it's Luke here. So it's no secret that K-pop has had a chokehold on my life for over 10 years. Um, but what you may not know is that the League of Legends video game has also had a chokehold on my life since the 2020 pandemic. You know, we all had to do something with the time on our hands. <laughs> And you may or may not know that those two worlds have collided a few times. And they're about to collide again, which is what we are here to talk about today. It was just recently confirmed that new jeans will be featured on the League of Legends 2023 Worlds Anthem, and there is a rumor going around that a new supergroup will be debuting this year as well, just like how KDA did in 2018. I've been hoping for a new League of Legends boy group for at least the last two or three years, and I almost made a video about it recently too, so the fact that it's even remotely possible and that it's being talked about is definitely a good thing. So if you aren't familiar, the League of Legends World Championship is this huge international tournament where League of Legends esports teams from around the world come together to compete for a cup. It's a very prestigious thing. I don't know a ton about it, but I do tune in, mostly for the opening ceremony, to be honest. I think it's a fair comparison to say that it's like the League of Legends Olympics, so there's a lot of fanfare and excitement and hype that gets drummed up around it, you know, like an opening ceremony, an anthem, so on and so forth. There is a world anthem that gets released every year, and really big artists like Lil Nas X, Imagine Dragons, and Zed have all been collaborated with on these anthems in the past, so it's not a complete surprise that New Jeans would be recruited for an anthem, but I think because they're, you know, they're pretty fresh, uh, their sound is quite different from what we would expect to hear on a League of Legends anthem, so I would say there's a lot of hype and interest to see how this will play out and we will be tuning in and probably reacting. This actually really makes sense though because this year's worlds are held in South Korea and there's an interesting parallel because the last time worlds was held in Korea was 2018 where like I just said KDA debuted. Anyway, I'm actually excited to see how this New Jeans and League of Legends collaboration comes out. I did see a leaked article surface that quoted the member saying it was really interesting for them to try a new genre and new sound, so yeah, I'm sure it'll be pretty special. So of course I'm excited for the new anthem, but I have to say that this potential rumored new boy group is something that I'm even more excited about. And here are a few reasons why I think there is some truth to this rumor. Not too long ago, Riot Games, which is the company behind League of Legends, did say that the budget for their 2023 year was the biggest budget League of Legends has ever had. And I've heard talk online of, you know, people in the community saying, you know, where where is this budget? Like, of course, there's been great things in League this year, but um, the beginning of the year, maybe not so much. So really interested to see how these last four months do play out with that budget. The other thing is, like I just mentioned, the worlds are being held in South Korea, so it would make sense for like a K-pop group or a K-pop artist to be involved in a group for League of Legends. Another reason is that Teamfight Tactics, which is another game in the League of Legends universe, did spoil that their 10th set would have a music theme and that's coming this winter. The possibilities for this are really interesting because the upcoming set could feature all of the Riot music groups like True Damage, Pentakill, KDA, this new one, or you know, even all of the little projects in between. This next one, I have to give credit to Necrit. He's a very big League of Legends YouTuber, and he highlighted a post on Reddit from a Riot employee saying that we will have a lot of media to hear and watch over the coming four months. And this was about a month ago. Lastly, and probably the most significant piece of evidence, is that we've seen a couple of artists publicly show interaction or some kind of connection with Riot Games and League of Legends this year. And those are Baekhyun of EXO and ATs. Now, Baekhyun's piece here is a pretty small nugget of information, but a pretty clear-cut one. 
he basically tweeted out that he was working on a League of Legends related song. Like, how much clearer can you get than that? Of course, it's possible this is a project that never sees the light of day, but the fact that it even was being worked on is a sign of hope. As for ATs, they just recently visited the headquarters for Riot Games in Los Angeles, seemingly in August of 2023, but I realized this could have happened pretty much any time and they only chose to share that they were there in August. Who knows? And according to Riot Games, they were only there to game. But according to me, that is a long way to go just to game. So there's got to be something to it, right? So with all of that evidence and the history and context that we know about worlds, it really seems like this is a perfect recipe for a new boy group to happen this year. Or at the very least, a comeback of a group. Could be true damage. People have been asking for it. Could be KDA. <laughs> I mean, probably not if it's ATs and Baekhyun, but... KDA was featured at Worlds in 2018 and 2020, True Damage in 2019, Pentakill had a comeback in 2021, along with all the music from Arcane, and even just last year there was Jackson Wang who took on the character of Pike in the Fire to the Fuse theme song for the Empyrean skin line. And that is an underrated bop, in my opinion. And overall, if ATs does end up forming this new boy group, I think that would make a lot of sense because I get the sense that it's very difficult to coordinate multiple artists, like in the case of KDA and True Damage, to have like a sustained promotion cycle. But if you have one K-pop group, you can really like have a whole promotion cycle coordinated more smoothly. At this point, your guess as to what will happen is as good as mine. But while we're here, we might as well take a guess. So we might be getting a group, we could be getting a solo artist, we could be getting multiple groups or artists, or I could be clowning and we don't get anything. But let's just say that a new boy group does happen to debut at Worlds this year. What is your dream roster that would form this new group from the League of Legends Champions roster? So some of my favorite male champions to play are Barris, Ezreal, Aphelios, Jin, Brand, Auction, Twisted Fate, Draven, and Lucian, just to name a few. I mean, that's pretty much all the male champions I've ever played. So I would be pretty much happy with any of those. Although, you know, Aphelios can't really talk due to the Noctum that he has to drink, and a few of those are barely human, so I don't see how they would work, but if they can make Evelyn work, I think they can make Brand or Jin work. <laughs> and I have to say here that my interest in a League of Legends boy group was really sparked when I saw this concept art by an artist named Jacksons. And I should mention that Riot Games Music did notice this piece of art as well. So this one in particular features Yasuo, Talon, Felios, Set, Ezreal, Kane, and Yone. And I personally think that would be a really cool group, interesting dynamics, and it totally makes sense that Yasuo would be there as he is the True Damage producer, I believe. I also remember people seeing this uh, set Lunar Greeting dance and people saying that this must be right game saying, here, Set can dance too, he could be part of a boy group. Um, but that's also probably all of us being delusional and just wanting anything at this point. And last thing that I do want to quickly mention before we wrap up is that I do remember seeing something somewhere where Taeyong from NCT mentioned that he wanted to be Talon if League of Legends ever did a boy group. And it's kind of just come full circle because now somehow Baekhyun could be involved, which just made me realize that Super M could actually be brought in as well. They've been a little quiet, so it'd be cool if they were like, ha! Huh, Super M is back as a League of Legends boy group with Taeyong, Baekhyun, and maybe the rest of the game. I mean, the fact that G Idol and Twice and other artists were kind of like able to rotate in and out of doing KDA shows that there's really limitless possibilities to how League or Riot could handle a group like this. 
So um, I'm really just going to leave it there because at this point I'm just going to be making a further fool of myself if none of this happens. <laughs> Anyway, what are you hoping to see out of a League of Legends boy group? What kind of champions, what kind of artists do you want to see involved? And do you think it's actually going to happen? Is it going to be like the male version of KDA or something completely different? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, we will be tuning in to see what all happens. I'm going to try to react where I can just to stay on top of things and to really try to participate in this hopefully major moment. But I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Stay awkward, and I'll see you next time. Bye!